This video is about how I optimized the length of the waterline of the boat. In Gen 9, with the conventional way of folding the boat, the length of waterline is about 8 feet. But in Gen 9 Plus, I am able to extend it to 9 feet, which is a huge percentage gain. Why do I care so much about the length of the waterline of the boat? Because it is related to the performance of the kayak. And also, usually, a longer boat has a better tracking characteristics. Most products in the market adopted the conventional folding method. That means a 10 feet long coral plus will give you about a length overall of 9.5 feet. But the length at the waterline is only 8 feet. Usually, they don't talk about that number in their specifications. If I decided to make a triangle bigger, that means 12 inches here, and when I fold it, the water cannot get in because it's pretty high here at the back. And if I choose to make the triangle smaller, when I fold it, the water can, can get in easily. In order to fix this, there's a simple way I tried it. It's by attaching another sheet of coral plus. I don't really need a coral plus to do the job. I can just use a, a sheet of plastic that has a little bit rigidity. So when I close the design, if you look at here, it creates a higher wall at the back, prevents the water from getting into the boat. At the same time, you will gain the length of the water line. And you can actually be a little bit more aggressive. You can make a bigger sheet of coral plast or plastic sheet. And when you fold it together, this one could actually bend up. You can have the length overall same as the length of the waterline. If I use this design approach, the performance of my 10 feet kayak can be very close to a 12 feet kayak you can buy today in the market. Be sure to do this in a well ventilated area. Since I use heat fusion for the joint, and I wear a homemade respirator. I tested the fold of the bow, then I use a couple to create a template for the additional coral plus piece. I used a 6mm thick coral plus here, but at the stern, I used a 4mm thick coral plus, which is much easier to work with. This piece is mainly to prevent water from getting inside the kayak and there isn't much stress on it. Therefore, try to get a piece of plastic other than coral plus, which would probably work also. You can use Gorilla Tape and tape that sheet onto the coral plus. I use heat fusion here. At the first attempt, the joint wasn't very good. Therefore, I apply more heat on top to fix it. The outcome doesn't look very good at the joint, but it really doesn't matter much. I then apply the Gorilla Tape along the joint. It's not shown here, but it is at the final assembly. I, I just want to be sure water will not leak through the joint. Because I found out it is very difficult to create an absolute watertight joint using the tools we have. In my next video, I will share another innovative way to close the bow and stern. By far, the new way is the best I have come up with. Please subscribe and provide me feedback. I will be glad to hear other suggestions also. Thanks for watching.
拜。Bye.